Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna try and see if we can migrate a virtual machine running in VMware and over to Proxmox. Uh, Proxmox has a new uh, import feature that uh, is, is new with some of the newer version of Proxmox and um, in my last video I prepared for it I don't know if it was really necessary it might the feature might have been there but well um, I upgraded my Proxmox to the latest and the greatest to uh, definitely be able to do this feature they might have worked out some bugs in the meanwhile uh, while I have you here I would like to promote my little shop my playhouse shop uh, and one of the things that I uh, sold quite a bit of is uh, SFPs for your 10 gigabit so if you are in need of running 10 gigabit and you need SFPs please visit my little shop I think they're very very well priced I think it charts about 10 euros per SFP and that shouldn't be too bad and it uh, most definitely supports what I do but we are gonna turn on my Proxmox server I turned it off since the last video because uh, no reason for it to use power while it's not doing anything so it's this one the awesome Lenovo X3650 model 5 did I get it I got it so it's gonna be booting right here behind me it's booting so let's go to the computer and um, start the process okay so we have moved into the living room I have a different chair today my bag is killing me uh, so we're gonna move to my screen and I'll have my Proxmox server here and we're gonna log in let's see if I got that right oh my subscription I haven't got one hmm, that's a shame so apparently after I updated the server um, it has disabled the, whatever I did to remove this rather annoying uh, subscription reminder. So might have to do that again. So um, we need to go and um, add some storage here. And the way this works is that you add your VMware host as a storage device and it's down here. It's ESXi, it's uh, under the data center tab, over there, and then storage, and then add, and then ESXi, there. And you um, you give it an ID, so we're gonna give it um, my VM host. And then I'm gonna find the IP number and username and password for it. There. I have punched that in, so let's see if this works. Oh dear. Create storage failed. Failed to verify, blah 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 blah. So system trust. Store or skip verification. Okay, it actually has a skip certificate thingy right there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it would have been nice if it would have just told me in that error message we see that the certificate is blah 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 do you wish to not take that into account instead i have to go back and do that uh oh, let's see if it works and it did so interesting so now we should be able to go into our Proxmox host here and expand that and then we have this my VM host right there as a storage thing so if I press that I get all the virtual machines that I can import so I can pick one of these and then I can import it with this button here so um, I need to figure out which machine I need to import and let's see we, I have my VMware host here and I have all the machines over here that I'm, I'm actually using uh, it doesn't show all of them there so I have my vCenter that would be cool to get up and running over there 
I also have my Xclarity Administrator. That was actually uh, one that I was wanting to move over there. So it might be a, a very good test to try and move that over. That's a Linux installation. You can see it over there. I have already created a PFSense server on here. Um, well, that's back here. It's, it's right there. So PFSense makes no sense. That's just a joke. I'm doing this for the very first time. So you are with me uh, while I'm testing this out. So I think we'll do this um, Lenovo X Clarity Administrator. That is a, doesn't matter much. So we are gonna go back to Proxmox here and we're gonna go into our cloud thing there and we're gonna find that it's that one. It, um, it looks at the disk and when I installed this Lenovo X Clarity Administrator it was on version 2.5. I have been upgrading it over the years. So now it's at, at four point something something. And therefore the, the disc that it's, I named it model number back then, that might have been quite stupid. Never mind, it's, it's called something else than the virtual machine because I have updated the name of the virtual machine. I don't know, I, blah, 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 I'm rambling. Import. But not there. Let's see what it figures out. It suggests an a CPU, and here we can do host. So it will do the host CPU for us. It suggests the number of sockets, eight sockets, one core. That's quite a lot. Have I? Let's see what I have given this machine. Uh, Edit. I have given it two CPUs. I have given it 10 gigabytes of memory. Okay. That's quite different from what it's suggesting to give it over here. Sockets 8. Calls 1. I think I would go the other way around. I would say one socket. And Let's give it four cores. Let's be large. So that way, 16 gigabyte of memory is fine. Uh, and the name of the virtual machine is there. Default storage seems to be a good place for it. We can always move it if we. Well, let's. The rest, I think, might just be okay. Let's just check this Linux version over here. What do we have here? Linux version support is. Never mind. We're gonna try it and see what happens. It's gonna take a while to import it. Let's see. Virtual guest seems to be running on source host. Import might fail or have inconsistent state. Okay, so what I'll read out of this is that they suggest me to shut it down. I wouldn't mind doing that. Let's just do that. Let's action and the power off. We have a we have a guest OS shut down. That's the nice way of doing it. It will. Uh, it will tell the Linux version to shut up, shut down, magic. Okay, if you're yelling at your screen right now, I understand you. I just decided to shut down my vCenter instead of the Lenovo X Clarity Administrator. So yeah, that, that was really stupid. And I was looking at the wrong numbers, of course, also. So we're turning on the vCenter again. <laughs> wouldn't actually need to move over the vSensor because we don't need that on, on Proxmox. But <laughs> yeah, that was a stupid mistake. Clearly it's too early in the morning. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually 
So we need to check this one out instead. So this actually does have eight cores and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we're gonna go back to Proxbox and we're gonna give it some more cores. I still don't like it to have eight sockets and I like it the other way around. Um, so we're gonna give it eight cores here instead. There. I think we'll cancel this, cancel this, and then we'll shut this down, the right one this time, so we will, that wasn't it, God. OS shutdown, can we do that, yes, now I managed to shut down the Xlarity administrator, so let's go back here, and try to import it again take the right one import so this time it should not give me that message which it does not so that's good i'm gonna gonna swap those around just i don't know why but i like it better that way and we're gonna go back to host the idea is that proxmox can emulate a lot of different processors so it can tell the system that you're running on this processor or that processor. And there might be slight differences. And I just want it to run on the, on the host trust. I'm rambling again. So there's advanced settings. I don't know enough about it to do anything there. There is the result of the configuration. Um, so we're just gonna press import and it's gonna start doing that. It had some rather large hard drives that needs to be moved over. So um, this sh should and could take a while. Let's see if it's doing anything. It's it's working on it. I'm gonna let this run and I'll get back to you when it uh, has done something. Okay, we're at 99. Now we're at 100%. So I'm hoping that something interesting would happen now, like it would be done. Uh, uh, this this was pretty good. I did actually try um, to export a, a disk to my PC to transfer it to Proxmox to... Uh, I never succeeded on that. Oh, uh, why is it? Okay, successfully created, yada yada yada, task okay. Does it shut down by itself or do we have to close this? Mm. Okay, but Proxmox says that um, this import thing works best for ESXi 8. I don't have ESXi 8. I, I kind of stopped updating ESXi. Oh. It kicked me, it's been too long. I kind of stopped um, updating my ESXi for my personal use at 6.7.0 as I didn't like the way that it was going. Uh, it was being more and more restricted and less and less compatible and more and more of your old equipment wasn't working anymore. So you had to, had to change out your hardware all the time to be able if you want to use ESXi 7 and 8 well you have to have the latest and the greatest hardware and you can only like use this hardware for like five years and that is obsolete and I didn't like that much so that's why I've been trying to, to change over to Proxmox um, status stopped okay uh, which this feature will make it a lot easier to move over so um, I think it's okay to stop here. And we now have a new virtual machine here uh, that we haven't seen before, but we might recognize it from somewhere else. So as the other one is still shut down over here, I think it's safe to turn this one on and see if it works. So um, boost me up. Let's press play on tape. So, And it's doing something. We should be able to see the console of it booting. There. Then 
but this doesn't say much. So we're gonna give it a little bit and I'm Okay, it's been um, 13 minutes and it has, uh, it has stopped loading here, importing a PS2 mouse driver. No other thing. I think 13 minutes is quite long enough for me to wait for it. Uh, I'm going to try and reboot it. See you. Well, I'm going to try and shut it down. Okay, I've shut it down. I found something that might could be an issue. If we look at the network drivers, it's they are using this VMware driver. They're set to this VMware driver. And I think that might be... I don't know. I think we'll try and put that... We can select what network card we have in the machine. I think I want to... This Intel driver is really something that everything has. So I want to put that in there. Let's see if, if that could be part of the issue. But it doesn't have the right driver. Uh, I have no idea if that's anything. But well, I thought it would be worth to give that a shot. So I'm going to try it again, see what happens. I did also not get any web page for my uh, the Novo X Clarity Administrator over here. Yeah, I'm going to start it out again. I think I need to do that again. It didn't get much further. It's right there and it's really quick to figure out that Ah, mouse driver. Ah. Okay, so this is not working very well. I have tried all sorts of things here. Uh, I have tried, well, the network card to make those standard. I have uh, re-imported it using another RAID controller. I've tried forth and back with CPUs. Also, there is a lot of options here where you can pick different kernel and I haven't found the right trick yet, but I did manage to get a Windows machine over here, so we can see that. That is right here, and that was imported, and that was not without any issues either. When I imported it the first time, well, it didn't work. But I found that the, the rate controller uh, that it was using, uh, where is it? It's under hardware. That one, uh, that was not the one that it was using when I just imported it. It was set as this default one, and that one didn't work on my Windows 10 machine here. So, uh, but I picked this Mega Raid, which um, I know from my Lenovo things, and uh, yeah, that worked just fine. And then the machine booted and came online, uh, and that is up and running. How to get this one up and going? I um, I don't have a clue right now, so... So if you have any idea how that Linux machine could uh, could work for me, and why does, why, why does it stop with a mouse driver, that's just ridiculous, right? I would very much like to read about that in the comments, but um, yeah, other than that, uh, remember to go check out my SFPs, they're for sale. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description, and uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.